In every forest, in every ocean, a voice is calling. This is Voices for the Wild. Every creature has a voice. The sky has a ruler you can't see, thermals rising, wind lines curling. And riding those invisible roads is the bald eagle, a North American raptor built for lift, power, and patience. It is the national symbol of the United States, but the real story lives far from flags and seal stamps. Tonight, we step into the eagle's life, how it sees, how it hunts, how it raises a family the size of a small fortress, and how it nearly vanished, then returned. Bald doesn't mean hairless. It comes from piebald, meaning marked with white. The adult wears a stark white head and tail over a deep chocolate body, a contrast that flashes from river bends and coastal inlets like a signal. Juveniles are mottled brown for years, their white head and tail slowly emerging with maturity. That slow reveal is the eagle's timeline written on its feathers, youth, practice, and patience before the bright crown. Home is wherever water meets open sky. From Alaska to Florida, from the rocky coasts of Maine to desert reservoirs in the southwest, bald eagles follow fish and waterfowl, scavenging when they can, hunting when they must, and stealing when it's efficient. Rivers, lakes, estuaries, tidal flats, these are the dining rooms. Tall trees or cliff ledges are the bedrooms and nurseries. If there is food in a perch, there can be an eagle. Begin with the eyes. A bald eagle sees in detail at distances that turn our vision to blur. Its retina is dense with photoreceptors and a deep fovea creates magnification. The world below is stitched together by movement, a flicker of a fin near the surface, the stutter of a duck-breaking formation, the flash of carrion along a shoreline road. Vision drives everything, the first detection, the approach, the last second correction, and then the talons take the story from there. An eagle's feet are tools of capture and control. Four talons curve like polished hooks, backed by strong tendons that lock when the toes clench. A fish that seemed safe just beneath the surface becomes a silver bar held crosswise as the bird flares and beats for altitude. If the catch is too heavy, the eagle lets go. Efficiency is survival. There is no pride in the math of energy, only margins and outcomes. Hunting styles shift with water and season. Over clear lakes on calm mornings, an eagle cruises low, scanning for trout or salmon within reach. Over tidal mudflats, it watches for stranded fishing crabs. Along rivers crowded with spawning runs, eagles line the banks like patient thieves. Sometimes they take waterfowl on the wing, slipping into pursuit when a flock panics and someone makes a mistake. Sometimes they simply wait, a headwind pins ducks low, and an eagle lifts from a cottonwood like a trapdoor sprung. They are also opportunists in unapologetic thieves. Ospreys catch fish with spectacular dives, feet first into the water. Bald eagles learn the rhythm of an osprey's hunt, then intercept on the osprey's climb out, forcing it to drop the fish or surrender it midair. To some eyes, that's laziness. To an eagle, it's calculus. Why spend the energy yourself when you can outsource the risk? Flight is not brute force, it's finesse. The eagle's wings are broad, the primaries fingered at the tips to manage turbulence. In winter, a bird may loft for hours on weak thermals, drifting from bend to bend like a kite, the head turning with a scanning pattern too smooth to imitate. When it must move fast, the wings narrow, the body pitches, and the bird cuts an arc that writes geometry in the air. This is a heavy raptor, but in its element, the weight goes on holiday. The nest is a statement. Bald eagles build some of the largest nests of any bird. Massive bowls of sticks layered year after year, lined with softer materials and placed with an eye for angle and view. A pair may use the same nest for seasons, expanding it until it weighs as much as a small car. The platform becomes a family address, a place to return, repair, reinforce, and raise the next generation against wind and storms. Courtship begins in the sky. 
The famous cartwheel, the talon lock tumble, is real, but not every pair performs it. Often, the dance is a spiral chase and a mock grab, followed by synchronized soaring. On the ground or at the nest, pair bonding shows up in stick passing, gentle calls, and shared repairs. When the time is right, eggs, usually two, sometimes one or three, appear in the bowl of the nest. Incubation is shared, the parents trading shifts with a careful step to protect the precious shells from cold. Chickhood is a long apprenticeship. Downy hatchlings become dark, spiky nestlings, their bills too big for their faces, their movements clumsy. The parents feed them strips of fish and waterfowl, tearing soft bites and placing them with precision. As weeks turn, the nest becomes a gym, wing whirring to build muscle, hop flapping across the platform, and edging onto the rim to stare down at the glittering world that will soon hold them up. Fledging is not a leap of faith. It's a series of tests, wind, balance, strength, and finally the thin moment when the nest no longer feels like ground. The first flights are short, the landing's awkward. Adults shadow the young, delivering food nearby to encourage exploration. Over time, the range expands along the river corridor. Juveniles learn to find thermals, read wind shear, and keep a margin between themselves and trouble. They scavenge, they harass gulls, they watch other eagles, and they miss more than they hit. Hunting is a craft that takes years to measure up to the hardware. The white head and tail are not just colors, they are a certificate of time served, usually four or five years before the full uniform appears. Not everything ends with a clean kill. Winter concentrates life and death. Along open leads in ice, eagles gather by the dozens to feed on fish, waterfowl, and carrion. At salmon rivers after spawning, the banks glow with carcasses and eagles become both hunters and recyclers. Their presence moves nutrients inland. Picked fish dropped on gravel bars, scraps carried into trees, remains shared by foxes and ravens. A symbol is also an ecosystem worker. Danger for eagles often wears our shape. Power lines, cars, rodenticides that travel up food chains, and lid fragments and carrion from hunting seasons can all kill. The biggest danger used to be chemistry. In the mid-20th century, the pesticide DDT thinned eggshells so severely that nests failed across the continent. By the early 1970s, bald eagles hovered near disappearance in the lower 48 states. Then came the turn. DDT was banned in the United States. Habitat protections increased. People learned to look up and care. Nest platforms rose where trees were scarce. Wildlife agencies guarded roosts and closed sensitive areas when needed. The species responded. Clutch by clutch, season by season, bald eagles returned to lakes and rivers that had not held them in a lifetime. Their comeback is not an accident. It is a ledger of decisions that added up to flight. The eagle's diet remains pragmatic. Fish top the menu, but waterfowl, small mammals, and carrion fill gaps. In spring, flooded fields and thawing marshes become buffets. In summer, coastal fish runs drive a boom. In fall, migration concentrates prey and scavenging opportunities. In deep winter, eagles drift to the places that stay open. Dams, warm outflows, tidal rivers, and sea coasts. The map is a flow of calories and the bird is a needle pointing towards surplus. Territory is flexible. A breeding pair defends the immediate nest area in the best perches. Winter roosts, by contrast, can be communal. Dozens of eagles sharing tall trees near feeding sites, their silhouettes like black leaves against white mornings. At dawn, the roost empties in ones and twos, each bird choosing a search pattern stitched to memory in the day's weather. Listen closely and you'll hear that the voice doesn't match the body. Hollywood often dubs an eagle with a red-tailed hawk scream. The real call is a high, thin series of chirps and chatter. Surprisingly light for such a heavy bird. The mismatch is a reminder. Symbols aren't animals. The truth is often subtler and more interesting than the movie version. What does coexistence look like? It looks like keeping big trees near water where possible, or installing nest platforms where not. It looks like securing shorelines from unnecessary disturbance in breeding season and giving roost trees a buffer in winter 
it looks like using non-lead ammunition where hunting and scavengers overlap. So carrion doesn't quietly poison what comes to clean it up. It looks like slowing down on river roads and watching for feeding birds near bridges and bends. If you're lucky enough to watch an eagle hunt, notice the pauses. The long glides with minimal flapping. The way the head stays level as the body rides chop. The slight lift as it decides. And the sudden, decisive drop to the surface. Success or miss, the bird resets quickly, circling back into position with no visible frustration. The ocean and the river do not reward drama. They reward efficiency. By the time the white head and tail arrive, the bird is an adult in truth and appearance. It may return to the area where it hatched, or it may settle elsewhere where food and perches align with less competition. If it pairs and breeds, the cycle begins again. Sticks carried one by one, the bowl rebuilt, the old structure renewed, and a stubborn piece of sky claimed for another season. So here's the truth of the bald eagle. It is not just a symbol on paper. It is a working predator and a persistent survivor. It sees farther than we do, lifts more than it seems, and balances the ledger of energy with a thrift accountant's eye. It hunts when it must, steals when it's smart, scavenges when it's practical, and raises young with patience measured in weeks of wind and weather. It almost left us. We changed and it returned. On a clear morning, find a river bend and look up. You might see a dark bird with a white head riding a pale band of air, the feathers at the wingtips splayed like fingers filling the wind. It will tilt, then straighten, then write a quiet sentence across the sky that only it can read. The sentence means food, safety, home. It means a species that learned our world and outlasted our mistakes. The bald eagle rises, exhales into the cool, and keeps going. One more line of wild script across a human century. Tell us what you think and which animal you want us to explore next.